It's Dave. I know it's been a while, but I'm trying to make some new kind of stuff to put up over here. Over my Twitch, we've been building Gundams. Every Monday for the last three or four months, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So I figured I could make a couple of videos highlighting the cool little Gundams we're building, uh, maybe some tips and tricks if I run into any problems along the way, and uh, showcasing some of the fun we have talking while I build these. So if you like that, let me know in the comments. If you got any suggestions for any other type of content you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Got lots of stuff in the works, trying a lot of new things. But for now, let's do this. Hello. <clears throat> okay. Drum roll, please. Can anybody guess? Gundam Live Lance. Evan. What we're building today. For that. Nope. Oh, well, Wow, that is beautiful. I love this runner. That is so cool. Feel the flake inside of it? That thing looks freaking awesome. I'll know when I need this. I'm gonna set this over over here. Okay. No. Oh. Do it. of little lines for you to panel line out and make this thing look awesome. It's going to look super detailed, though. If uh, history has taught us anything, the last person you want to invite into your house when you have a pretty wife is the mailman. They are uh, not historically known to be the most trustworthy characters. Am I right, everybody? Am I right? Video. I think I have like 400 views. The bulky boy. Well, he hung up on me because he was scared about rampant AI. Perfectly, I think that's acceptable. These little blue pieces on the arms. They look so awesome. Whoop. Okay, let's see here. 
Legs, baby. Okay, that is all the pieces for my flicks, and I am very intimidated. I think I, did I tell you guys the story about the kid named Sam? Was that a playground? Maybe I'll change his name so he's protected. Uh, okay, Sam was a weird kid who lived in the same apartment complex as growing up. And uh, being his normal weird self, he'd always follow us into the woods, right? When we went up into the woods and we were at the playground. And he's walking behind us in the woods and he keeps poking his head out and he was kind of a scary kid like he'd get really mad and he'd attack you he's a weird guy right what he was he's very angry he saw he called my mom bad names he called my mom the b-word once and i threw a rock at him hit him in the head just yeah yeah i had anger issues it was a long time i was like dude i was like six okay when this happened i was i was young but he was following us into the woods and we went up on like a little cliff side and uh, the Sam kid was down below and he was still looking at us through the trees. So I picked up a big rock and I mean a big rock. OK, and I threw it off the cliff at Sam. OK, I hit him in the head with the rock, knocked him out cold. OK, thought I killed him. I thought he was dead. So I tell my friend that's with me, not going to name him. I'm like, oh, my God, he's dead. So we went down there and he's knocked out cold. He's like. He's literally, his eyes are closed and he's, he, I couldn't tell if he was breathing and I was a kid. I didn't know. So instead of going and telling an adult, we threw a rock and killed Sam. We buried him. <laughs> we put a bunch of leaves over him and tree branches and put like mud at his face and stuff. So we go back down to the house and I'm sitting there and I'm talking to my, I'm talking to my friend and I'm like, dude, what are we going to do? We killed Sam, you know? <laughs> and, about that time, Sam comes walking out of the woods covered in shit. I mean, he's got leaves in his hair all messed up. And he walks over to us and he's like, hey, hey, what are you guys doing? And I'm like, nothing. What happened to you? And he's like, well, I was following you guys in the woods and you guys went up on the hill and a rock fell off the top of the cliff and hit me in the head. I was like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. I couldn't have been older than sixth grade because where I was living, probably fifth grade, fourth grade. I don't know how old you are in fifth or fourth grade, but I was young, you know, didn't know no better. And he's fine. He's alive. I've seen him. OK, he's definitely not dead. Here we are, second live lance. I'm focused. The arms look awesome. And there's so much panel lining I can do on this. I've got to work on the legs because, like, right now I, I can pull. Yeah, 
I think it turned out really good. The back, I'm not super happy with the way that turned out. But it translates on camera a lot better than it looks in person. I'm happy with it. I think it looks pretty good. Did really good. Look at that. So, uh, one of my friends had a French horn at his house. It was like a, it was one that was for decoration. It was like a really old one. Is all rusted up. Well, a very good friend of mine, every time he would come over to my buddy's house, he'd pick up that horn and he'd blow on it. He thought it was hilarious. He thought it was the funniest thing in the world. He'd pick it up and he'd... And he'd... You know, make a little noise. So, we knew he was coming over. So, I took that French horn. And the end of it, I don't know, it's probably about that big around where you put your mouth on, you know? And, uh... I took the end of that French horn... And I stuck it in my butt. I stuck it in my butt, right? <laughs> and then he comes over, and, and, you know, we're all sitting there just holding our excitement. He picks up his French horn, you know, <laughs> ready to go. You know, we're all laughing like, here goes, here he goes with his French horn. And he picks it up, and he gives it an old, he gives it an old blow. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with me. It's funny. It was a joke. <laughs> and he picks this horn up. And he blows on it, and it makes a little bit of noise. And he, uh, at this point, we're all dying laughing. As soon as he puts his mouth on it, we're all on the ground cracking up, like dead laughing. Like, cannot see. Like, I was seeing spots. He just looks around the room, looks at all of us, sets the horn down on the ground, and leaves. And didn't talk to any of us for, like, two days. Without any of the weapons or anything, just a little bit of panel lining on this backpack... That is, that is an amazing kit. Look how good that looks. Especially for such a small little Gundam, too. Very cool. I'm really liking it. Dude, I still haven't watched Demon Slayer. That's something that me and Ashley can actually watch. Been looking for a new show. Really cool. I've got a little bit more panel lining I'd like to do on it. Just on the back on the wings, these details here, little interior pieces on the wings, and just these little kneecaps. Besides that, this thing is done, done, and it looks so good. Risk was right. This is a great little kit, man. And I think this was like 10 bucks at the most 15. A nice little trick if you, uh, hey, buddy, good boy. If you get the Ashtray kit as well, which they sell both of them at Target, if you get the Ashtray kit, Ashtray Sword Beam Saber is a square slot. No, no, no. Get in the basket. Get in the basket. Come on, baby. Basket time. Basket. In the basket. Lay down. Uh, Ashtray sword, sword is unlike most of the Beam Sabers, where it has a square slot. You get an extra piece with Live Land. It fits you get a custom live lance beam saber how cool is that with the live lance the glitter effect plastic and everything
So that was it. That's Gundam Livelands. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. I really do. Let me know if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff down in the comments. Uh, just as a reminder, we do build Gundams just like this every Monday over on Twitch. 7.30 to 9.30 Eastern. So if you want to come join us there live, you can do that. And if not, I'm going to start trying to do a lot more of these over on YouTube if that's more of your thing. Uh, but again, thanks everybody for watching. Stay dangerous, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!